Hello, greetings and salutations. Welcome back to the BFC. I hope you guys are doing great. But before I go on, if you have not hit the subscribe button, smash that subscribe button and turn on the notifications because guess what? Next week is a big week for the BFC. Seriously, you know, listen, I know I've mentioned this before. I, I, I'm going to keep mentioning this. This is a time to buckle down and get your priorities straight. Yes, we are facing our worst year of inflation in decades. In June, we had a yearly high of 9.1% inflation. And we have been declining ever since, and we were sitting at 8.2% uh, in September. Not, not that this is a good thing. Not sure if this will continue, but maybe this is a turnaround. Who the hell knows? I do know this has been one hell of a shit show for the last 12 months, seriously. And I know there are changes that many of us want to see. But for those of you that are absolutely convicted in your investments, no matter what they are, whether it's an OTC, NASDAQ, or NYSE, if, you, if, if the companies display sound fundamentals, then buckle in and ride it out. Now, this is not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing. I'm here to lead all the sheep off the cliff. And I'm just kidding. That's not what I'm doing. I'm actually really speaking from the heart, you know. But for those that are willing and able, this is the time to take advantage of some of the greatest opportunities in a very long time. Now, listen, the good traders, and, and I'm not a day trader. I am not a day trader. I always tell you guys that. Uh, but but day traders, they're making money in the market regardless of recession. Um, is it harder to do? Absolutely. The best traders are making money and keeping their portfolios nice and green um, in, in a bear market, in a recession. But the truth is, uh, for us long-term investors, and I'm very young in this journey, uh, we look for the companies that have potential to grow exponentially. This is the time to increase your DD and awareness of the companies that are thriving and growing in the current economic conditions. I try to find companies that I connect with. And, and by connect, I mean, do I believe in their vision? Do I think their products and services are going to be useful and sellable? Do I trust the management? And do they commit to the shareholder? For me, I know you guys know, the, uh, my subscribers know, I've, I've been a holder of ticker ILUS, Ilus International, for almost two years. I firmly believe in the fundamentals of the company. Now, my most recent move was getting, uh, I got up to a million shares of CYBL because I believe in their vision. But like I said before, I'm looking for, for the gems that are growing in harsh economic conditions. And both of these companies have done just that. And Eyeless is far exceeding expectations, but they're actually doing what they set out to do and what they said they were going to do. So, you know, because when favorable market conditions return, guess what? Their share price will then, it'll reflect the valuation of the company. This market will not be down here forever. And believe it or not, guys, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, listen, let me know what you think down below. What are some of your favorite investments looking three, four, five years down the road? I would absolutely love to know. And listen, do not waver in your convictions and know there are better days ahead. I hope you guys have a great day. And remember, there's more that binds us than breaks us. You guys have a good one. Peace.